Fender have just refreshed their Paramount series of acoustics, brand new for 2022. If you haven't heard of them, up until now, they've been what Fender have called their premium range of acoustic guitars. Only they're all under a thousand pounds. In fact, most of them are around the 500 pound mark. Let's face it, that's not exactly a premium price tag when it comes to acoustic guitars, especially when you can expect to pay upwards of a thousand pounds just to get into the standard ranges of other acoustic guitar brands. I mean, I don't want to name names here, mainly because they're still great brands and we do still sell them all, but for the price of the Paramount Acoustics, you'd be getting the absolute bare bones when it comes to other brands. Sure, a lot of the big acoustic guitar brands are steeped in history and innovation, when it comes to the acoustic guitar, but Fender are not exactly newbies to the guitar industry themselves, and with the launch of the Acoustasonic range a few years back, they're also pretty big players on the acoustic stage as well. So the idea of Fender Paramount being a premium range of acoustic guitars seems a little bit defunct, and it comes as no surprise that with this new range that's been released for 2022, Fender have shifted the focus away from it being a premium brand and more into a realm of something different. And where's it shifted to? Well, they've moved more into the realms of tradition and authenticity. What you'll find with the new Paramount range is that they've opted for body shapes and finishes that really reflect the instruments of the early 30s, some of the most classic acoustic guitars when you look back on the history of the instruments. Aesthetically, you'll see all kinds of areas such as the trim around the body and the rosette that pay homage to these old style guitars. Having said all of this, a lot of the principles of the Paramount range still remain. There is still an element of emphasis on the craftsmanship. Everything is made from solid woods, which is so nice to see at a price point like this. And everything is kind of in the similar price range to where it was before, despite them not really calling it premium because they're not really that premium when you think about acoustic guitars. So with all of this being said then, let's get on to the main question that I want to answer in this video. Is Fender the most underrated acoustic guitar brand? Fender have always sort of dabbled in acoustic guitars dating all the way back to the early 60s when they wanted to produce some instruments that kind of moved away from the very formal stuffy antique guitars that everyone was playing at the time. They wanted acoustic guitars to be accessible to all different types of musicians, whether you're taking it down to the beach or the local bar, or just taking it up to the campfire in the woods. Most importantly, they just wanted them to be fun. They made several models, including the Malibu and the New Porter, as well as the Redondo later in the decade, which are all models that you can actually buy today as re-released versions. They're all slightly smaller bodied than the standard acoustic guitars of the time, and they all had the iconic Fender hockey stick 
headstock on the end. They ended up in the arms of some of the major players of the 60s with the rise of folk and country music, people such as Johnny Cash and Elvis Presley and Ray Davis, just to name a few. The 60s ended though, and for a while, so did Fender's acoustic ambitions. Most of Fender's acoustic models had been discontinued by 1971, and by 1979, there wasn't any Fender acoustic models in their catalogue. It would remain that way through the CBS era of the 70s and the 80s, all the way into Fender's renaissance into the 90s. Here, they'd released their wider selection of acoustic guitars to date, including some of these classic models that they released in the 60s, and to this day, they have been consistently producing and distributing Fender acoustic guitars. However, let's face it, they've never really been known for their acoustic guitars. They certainly didn't take off like their Strats and their Tellys did in the 50s and the 60s. So with all of that being said, what do they bring to the table in the modern age? Well, there's no better place to take a look at this in 2022 than with their most recently released acoustics, the brand new Paramount series. perfectly blends vintage stylings and traditional guitar shapes with some of the innovation in the acoustic guitar world that Fender have been known for in the last five years. You have three classic guitar shapes that outline the new Paramount lineup, and those are the Dreadnought, the Orchestra model, and the Parlor. Three body sizes, three finishes, and included in those three finishes is an option for a harder wood on the top. The three finishes are just as simple, with the mahogany top having a nice cognac burst, a natural finish, and then a vintage sunburst as well. The firmer wood in the mahogany is a great variation in terms of tone if you're looking for something with a lot more mid-range that's really going to help you cut through a band's mix. Speaking of the wood, as I've already mentioned, 
All of it on the top, the back and the sides on every model is all solid wood. There's no laminate anywhere to be seen, which at this price point is quite frankly fantastic. And not naming any names again, certainly cannot be said for every single acoustic guitar brand at this price range. When you add to this that every single guitar in the range has been fitted with a specifically designed Fishman pickup system that's been very loosely based on some of the successes that they've had with the Acousta Sonic pickup system. And you have a guitar range that is ready to rival absolutely everything at its similar price point. This comes by way of the same piezo style pickup under the bridge and the body sensing pickup, which is really picking up the resonance of the top. What's nice here is that they get to take all of the innovation that they've put into the Acousta Sonic series and apply it into this new range as well. It's there if you need it, and if you don't, because it's tucked away, there are no screens or knobs anywhere on the body of the guitar, there's no extra jack input, it's integrated into the strap pin, it really hides away well until you need it. I mean, I don't mean to go on about it, but they also give you a hard case for your trouble. And I'm not talking about some flimsy, pathetic plastic thing. I'm talking about a really good quality hard case, which is gonna protect your guitar, whether you're taking it on buses, planes, trains, and automobiles. And they specifically fit the guitars as well, which will come as some comfort to anyone who's ever tried to find a nice fitting parlor case. I don't think you're going to be choosing between these and a Martin D28 or a Taylor 714 CE, for example. However, for everyone else who doesn't have that kind of money to spend on an acoustic guitar and just needs a workhorse for gigging or songwriting or even just playing out on the campfire under the stars, then you really cannot get anything that offers so much for so little than you get with these Paramount guitars. I've said the same in previous videos about the Fender CD60 and the CC60, about how good they are at the entry level beginner market, and honestly the Paramounts do the exact same thing for the mid range. So back to the original question that I asked in this video, are they the most underrated acoustic guitar brand? Well to be honest, Yes. I mean, not in terms of legacy in the industry and their incredible high quality craftsmanship that you can get from the other bigger guitar brands, but for the regular musicians market for functional guitars, there really isn't anyone out there producing the kind of reliable, high quality, versatile instruments that Fender are. Sure, if you're on the lookout for a high-end, authentic acoustic guitar from a builder that's got hundreds of years of legacy in the industry, then you're gonna be looking elsewhere. But for the rest of us, we certainly should not overlook Fender just because of their legacy in the electric guitar industry. Because honestly, they're doing it in the acoustic business as well. So there we have it. As I've mentioned, all the guitars that we played in this video are part of the brand new for 2022 Fender Paramount series, and you can check them all out on our website. As I record this, they're all currently in stock. What do you guys think though? Have you tried any Fender acoustics or owned them before? Have you tried any of the new Paramounts yet? Let us know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to see more things like this and we will see you very soon.